guys, it's time to start exercise number four. They're asking you, is it ice, water, or vapor if it is in the next conditions? 26 millimeters of mercury and 100 Fahrenheit. So I found this in the internet. You got temperatures and you got saturated pressures. And the thing here, guys, is that they are using either inches of uh, how do you say mercury or millimeters of mercury and Fahrenheit and Celsius so let me just since I'm more used to know that if I have pressure everything that it's up that temperature will be a gas makes sense now uh, one atmosphere I got 100 Celsius so if I have 105 Celsius it will be a gas Instead of, I think it's more strange to get 100 Celsius, I got this one atmosphere. And if I got 0.95 atmosphere, well, I have no much sense. 100 Celsius at 95 atmospheres, uh, low, temp low pressure, high temperature, yes, it will be also gas, but uh, I think it's not that common sense. So first thing first, I want to choose this one here, which is the 26 millimeters of mercury, and that tells me that the saturation point is 80 Fahrenheit. So at 26 millimeters of mercury, I got saturation point of 80 Fahrenheit. So what will you expect if you have 90 Fahrenheit or the 100 Fahrenheit here? Well, of course, if you have the same pressure, you are expecting to have a gas or a vapor. So this is definitely a vapor, guys. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.